I'm sure that when she gets better, both your art and hers will reach new heights. It's just a matter of time and of her wanting to heal. I hit it! Can't you see what's happening to you? <laughs> the rotten heart of our house. There was a time when I couldn't spend a day without crying. But now, I don't even want to do that. It's like my emotions are locked in their own cage, and I can't even be bothered to look for the key. Playing with our daughter is usually a joyous occasion, one of few left in my life. Today, though, I had to ask her to leave almost mid-sentence. It's all these questions. How do you feel, Mommy? What do you think, Mommy? Mommy, why are you sad? What is your name, Mommy? I don't know, darling. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anything, but the fact that my chains grow heavier every day. I feel that my soul has gone sick, and that's why I'm writing to you. It's like all my energy has gone away. It is hard to even get out of bed. Not because of the pain. I don't mind the pain as much as I used to. I just can't see the point of getting up, eating, talking to anyone, living this life in the prison my body has become. The symptoms you're describing aren't uncommon, especially among women and artists. Being that you are both, uh, you are naturally more prone to hysteria and melancholy. I'd suggest avoiding extreme emotions, 
and spending time in, in peaceful surroundings. In fact, we have a center for troubled women here in just over the sea. We had another argument today. Asked if I was feeling all right, and I just snapped. I don't understand why I'm being treated that way. The, the accident was ages ago. And I left largely unscathed. I'm fine now. It's like he wants me to be locked in this house forever. He was hurt. I could see that. And as ashamed as I am to admit it, it brought me a bit of satisfaction. What have I become? I wrote to the doctor, declining his offer. I won't be locked up. I, I won't let them. I will get through this on my own. This is my head.
Pathetic, you weakling. You claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? My true self. I am perfect. Nothing can hurt me. This is just a test, and I'm passing it. Everything is fine. My husband's palace. When he locked himself in there, the whole house felt like a prison cell. I'm sorry for the late answer. These letters are hard to read for me. I don't sleep because I'm thinking about you and your misfortunes. I need a break after each letter. And when I come back to it to write the answer, there's always a matter of deciphering. Your handwriting. I'm sure you know it's not as beautiful as it used to. Yesterday I was woken up by, I think, the most terrible sound I've ever heard. Like a sick cat being slowly strangled. It took me a long time to realize it was the violin. She picked it up and tried to play. I think there's no coming back for her.
From what you write, this whole situation is very hard for your child. Maybe you should spend less time with her. I know it's painful, but I believe it will be for the best. You both need time. I don't think you fully understand your condition. You have been in a terrible accident and you are, to be honest, lucky to be alive, not to mention writing letters, demanding of your body to come back to normal. To be healthy is like demanding a broken mirror to fix itself. Uh, you're doing great progress and you're healing, but I'm afraid things won't be back to normal. No doctor on earth can make the pain go away. I'm truly sorry to tell you that. But you will have to learn to live with it. I hope you'll understand one day. All my life, I was told to strive for perfection. And I didn't strive, I achieved it. I was the most talented musician, the most inspiring muse, the most caring mother, the perfect wife. I never accepted my own weakness as an excuse. And then it caught up to me. Now there is no coming back, the life we had. There's no use. How could they understand it if I don't? I think I just need something that will work. I need this to end. There is no coming back to the perfection I once had. No coming back to chaining myself into the roles people want me to play. No coming back to crushing my soul under others' expectations that I think are my own. There will be no coming back here. I'm ugly. I'm disabled. I'm useless. I'm free. 